Hi, this is the Daily Horoscope for my Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for October 7th, 2024. And the little moon is in Scorpio at this time, kind of close to Apollo in the um, seven, in your natal seventh house. So it's around like five degrees conjunct with that. Uh, so that was very interesting. I have a link on my community page where you can see like Nassau and they have like all the, um, the little asteroids, which I love and stuff. So you can follow along and check out where the little moon is moving. Um, so yeah, I have a link to that again on my YouTube channel, Marie Moore Astrologer. So give that channel some love too. My October monthly horoscopes are up. I am available for readings and reports, natal chart reports, compatibility reports, six months and yearly reports. I'm bringing back the six month and yearly reports where I did the um, inauspicious numbers and the tarot because I'm feeling more comfortable like with like because you know I got hacked and everything life changes so I'm feeling like in the mood for it so anyway so if you want to check that out check that out to help you really navigate and kind of like map out your week and month and six months and what's to come so you could kind of prepare for things or know what to expect during um, certain aspects and certain time periods and especially with like the big shifts coming up with like north node moving into Pisces how is that gonna affect you you know, in your personal chart. And then I do like a little tarot scope on there on the top part. So check it out. Um, you can find that on my consultation page at Marie Moore Astrologer. Go to my homepage and it's there. I'm still doing the $20 email readings as well. So if you want a general just to see what's going to pop up because the energies are kind of a little bit rough and you want it based on your information, check it out also on Marie Moore Astrologer. Um, right next to my picture on my homepage, there's a bunch of links to those things that I do offer. So I look forward to your reading or your reports. So anyways, my fabulous bulls, you have a big old st stellum in your sixth house, okay? So there's a lot of information or there's a lot of like stuff going on in your personal life. Your office could be changing at this time. For some of you, the focus could be on your pets, God forbid, and your pets could be going through it at this time with this energy. The focus is gonna be on family, your pet's health, and your family dynamics, or this could be even your health, and you could be going through it as well with this energy. There could also be some lifestyle changes that you may need to make with your own health as well. You can be going through it emotionally between the sixth house, ninth house, and twelfth house. So same energies that you've been going through since the beginning of the year and this is kind of like you working on yourself this could be like your health issues being affected by your emotional self at this time with this energy so really be careful with your health okay you're definitely reevaluating your family dynamics as well because Hades and Coronas are 14 and 15 um, 14 and 16 degrees together let me check let me check yeah 14 and 16 degrees together and they're both not well aspected so you're kind of like going through um, a lot of self realizations with family at this time you may not be on speaking terms anymore with certain family members as well your relationship dynamics with family because if you have dealt with a death or somebody getting ready to pass you could find like everybody's picking sides now with this energy so this may not be the easiest time with family dynamics with this energy as well I feel also there could be a division of family or what you thought was family in your head because you were younger and you may have heard rumors about particular relatives and stuff like that they could be really showing their true colors at this time and their behavior is coming out at this time so you may not wish to affiliate yourself with certain family members anymore because of their behavior or because the way they act towards family crisis or the things that are going on with family and how like everybody's little like greedy little head starts popping out and you're just kind of turned off by the situation. Virgo, change is happening with your money situation. So money could be tight at this time. This is your values, your resources, your self-worth could be changing as well. You can be dealing with financial insecurities at this time for some of you. Not the easiest time for business picking up with this energy. This could be money worries coming up. 
or the way you save money or spend money could be changing as well. Your relationships dynamics could be changing. So this is whoever, whatever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. You can find yourself this week having a falling out with friends or people coming back into your life only to rehash fights with you and then leave you again. For others of you, there's lessons with other people at work or there's lessons with um, other family members at this time with this energy. Rules and regulations at work can be changing and you could be really reevaluating your career direction at this time because it could be affecting your hours. Capricorn, you can be walking around with a chip on your shoulder today, or if you're in a relationship, whatever is bothering you, you're kind of giving this person the silent treatment, and it doesn't have to be a love relationship, it could be like a relationship in general. And you're giving this person the silent treatment and expecting them to ask questions about why you're upset or whatever, um, and they either don't care or they know something wrong is wrong with you, and they're just leaving you alone and giving you your space, and you're taking it the wrong way and you're taking it as them playing mind games with you so then you're gonna start playing the mind games with them i know how y'all work okay bitches all right so they are going to leave you alone today or they do know that you're mad at them and they're going to continue doing their own thing despite you giving them the silent treatment so this could be driving you a little bit batty today as well so be careful with other people and how you deal with other people as well it's but just better to communicate your feelings and let the other person know that you're upset with them but you could also be walking on eggshells with them as well this is a time for you to be patient and strategic when it comes to your goals ambitions or career growth at this time for some of you i feel like as long as there's movement happening and change happening slowly but surely you don't care as long as there's change you're good to go show your love and support to your girl marie make sure to like subscribe and share i'm going to be putting up my weekly horoscopes a little bit early my monthly october horoscopes are up on marie Moore astrologer so be sure to check that out if you would like a general reading with me i have a membership page where it's like five bucks i think for um like a general reading um i have members on there and every two every month twice a month i come on and do general readings for those individual people so if you want to check that out and participate in that see what that's all about um check that out as well so support the channel help your girl grow by liking subscribing and sharing and thank you for everyone who has kisses Mwah.